Hey Maddie and possibly other people. I just want to quickly respond to what Maddie said in her last video about the obsession that people have with I need to get a signature, I need to get a picture with a famous person, whether it's a famous YouTuber or just when famous people go out in public. It's kind of really selfish <laughs> for us because we just want to prove that we met the person. You can just talk to them and then you know you've met them and you can actually have like a meaningful conversation. It's just so we can prove to our friends and like we can brag to people, I met this person, look at this picture we took, I'm not lying. At VidCon I saw a lot of people run up to famous YouTubers and be like, hey can I take a quick picture? And then they take a quick picture and they don't say anything to them. They just run away. They don't even treat them like they're a person. They treat them like they're a statue or landmark or let's take a quick selfie with the Statue of Liberty. Not to say that I didn't do that a few times. <laughs> but I try to actually like, talk to the people who have inspired me on YouTube. That being said, Maddie said in her last video that I was good at talking to them. I'm not sure that's entirely true. At the very beginning, I was awful. First person I saw when we walked into the expo hall was Elliot Morgan, and I adore SourceFed. I've been watching them since they began. I watch his personal channel too, so I, I, knew, I feel like I know this guy, but he doesn't know me in any way, shape, or form. So I like going up to him, I was like freaking out. I'm like, Maddie, what, what, what do I do? And so like, he signed my shoes. And I got these signed by a lot of people. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. And I, I did I did shoes instead of just like a poster or something. Because with signatures, I don't really think it matters that like, oh, I got this signed by a person. I think it matters how you treat the thing you saw, you got signed. Like if it's on the wall and you look at it often and you think about how good of the time you had, then it's perfect. But I want to be able to wear them so they also be a conversation piece, but also be like, I put on the shoes and I remember how awesome of a time I had at VidCon. So Elliot Morgan, I walked up to him and I was like, hey. I, 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 and then I tried to like some sort of like jumble out of words. It was not, it was not cute. I do, I apologize personally to Elliot Morgan for that first interaction. You were the first person I saw who I actually watch. So just, I apologize. But there were some really good interactions too with like, especially with smaller YouTubers. Like we, we met Ooh Cullen and Casey Conundrum who are just really cool. And they were really nice to talk to and like I felt like I could actually talk to them because they weren't surrounded by mob. The other person I felt like I could actually like try to talk to, make conversation with was Benjamin Cook from Becoming YouTube. He was really fantastic. He was surrounded by a ring of teenage girls. He actually seemed to care that like we we care. Cause there's some people who are like, yeah, like the fangirls can be annoying. And I mean, I would classify myself as a fangirl because I'm enthusiastic about the things I love and I will like promote the things I love. So I think that pretty much qualifies me in that category. It was just really a huge difference for me between my first interaction and like that was my last major one. Overall, VidCon was so amazing. There's no doubt I want to go next year. I don't know if I'll be able to. I would definitely recommend going if it's at all possible for you, average viewer, and Maddie. We need to go next year. Bye.